The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. This long shot out there. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, racing fans, and welcome to Laurel Park for the Friday replay show under cloudy skies at Laurel for the opener. Temperature going up into the upper 50s, lower 60s. Winds out of the south-southwest on Friday afternoon. A fast track and a massive pick six carry over $214,705 in the rainbow pick six races four through nine on the Friday program. We'll see if someone solved the pick six puzzle in just a few moments. A quick reminder about our spring stake spectacular coming up during this month of April on April 20th. 21st. Stakes here in Maryland include the Federico Tessio Stakes and the Weber City Miss Stakes. We'll also tap open that brand new Jailbreak beer, the Pimlico Pilsner 2018 edition at the Jailbreak Bar here at Laurel Park. Several stakes and also the great day of live racing with that uh, travel tumbler giveaway. Nice blue travel tumbler coming out and get yours while supplies last on Saturday, April 21st here at Laurel Park for a Spring Stakes Spectacular. Here's the first of nine from the Friday program to kick off your weekend of racing in Maryland. Off in the opener at Laurel Park. Bagels and Locks and Rock and Ruth out one, two, and Hot Frisia in between horses third, and Final Fear is at the rail. Corinthian Showgirl racing about the three or four path, and Wicked Sister on the outside, and Parch Ghost in the back. Six lengths will cover them heading into the far turn. Bagels and Locks and Final Fear on the inside going at it with Rock and Ruth perched in third position, far turn run. Hot Frisia inside and fourth, now three from the front, then Corinthian Showgirl in advance of Wicked Sister to the back of the pack, and Parch Ghost. Ghost is last of them all. Midpoint on the turn, two and a half furlongs to go. Bagels and Locks is the leader. Rock and Ruth on the outside. And the far outside, Corinthian Showgirl trying to drive on forward. And it's Hot Freesia right there. Hot Freesia shifting off the inside. Hot Freesia now out in the clear into third at the 316th and upper stretch. And it's Rock and Ruth and Bagels and Locks. And third is Hot Freesia. An eighth of a mile left to go. Here's Rock and Ruth. Rock and Ruth is rolling home now. Rock and Ruth opens daylight two and a half from Hot Freesia. Freesia second and Bagels and Locks third. Rock and Ruth and Vargas to win it. Hot Freesia second, Bagels and Locks in final fear. Corinthian showgirl. And are off. Blue Head Madness and Intrepid Forest, Port Coast Share, Scarlet's Ransom chiming in with some early speed up between them as one tough angels now move quickly to third position. Safari 10 is the last runner, seven lengths from the front, held by Intrepid Forest. Intrepid Forest from Blue Head Madness about a length, rolling into the far turn. One tough angel, Port Coast Share is right there at the rail in the second group and another five back in it. Scarlet's Ransom and four more, Safari 10. Three A's to run, Intrepid Forest the leader, Blue Head Madness working hard 
Carter from second. Port Cochere is third and one. Tough Angel is fourth. Well in advance of Scarlet's Ransom. Back of the pack with Safari 10. Turning in with Intrepid Force. Straightening on for home with a two-length lead. Port Cochere is trying to quick it under a drive near the inside. Blue Hen Madness is next. Into the last furlong. Intrepid Force holding at the rail. Just a two-length lead. The outside Blue Hen Madness coming right on back. And Port Cochere very game in between horses. Intrepid Force. Sheldon Russell looking for the Laurel line. Intrepid Forest, Intrepid Forest holding them off. Intrepid Forest, Blue Hen Madness and Port Cochere. Then one tough angel, Safari Tan. One first at five to two, Intrepid Forest. Photos. And they're off. Bad stumble for White Bluff at the start. Stone Bend at immediate early speed from Tipsy Moose. Farrow City racing in third position, discreetly placed. And Danny, my boy, and after stumbling at the start, White Bluff is last and about eight to make up. Stone Bend at a good clip. Now Tipsy Moose there to the top of the outside. And Tipsy Moose just a neck off the lead with four furlongs left to go. They're really going at it and discreetly places in third and five lengths off that duel. Danny, my boy, is in fourth and it's Faro City next and White Bluff trailing the field. Tipsy Moose on the outside at Stone Bandit coming to even terms. Tipsy Moose, Stone Bandit head to head with two and a half to go. Discreetly placed is placed off the duel. Five lengths on the front and third position as they swing in. Tipsy Moose, the heavy favorite, tried to get away from speed rival Stone Bandit. Has a half length advantage at the 316s of Stone Bandit. Very game down to the inside. Tipsy Tipsy Moose now a length, a length and a half in front with a furlong left to go. Discreetly placed is in third. Down inside is Pharaoh City is fourth. Now it's Tipsy Moose getting free by three. Tipsy Moose and the Moose is loose again. Tipsy Moose and Edwin Gonzalez two to five. Stone Bennett was second. Discreetly placed Pharaoh City in White Bluff. One oh three point fifty six.
And they're off Wedgwood Blue is last away. On the inside, Fire Heart out for the early advantage. From in between horses is Bry Pooter and Tack Up is there to the outside. Lost on the stairs, Brookwell in fourth. And Anthem Singer is in fifth. Dominic's Pride and cheering for Al. And Wedgwood Blue is in the back. Tack Up. Tack Up speeds into the turn. Tack Up just in front from Fireheart. Shuffle back second. Lost in the stairs out in the clear. Moves to second position now as they round that far turn run. Anthem Singer travels in fourth. And it's Dominic's Pride three wide from fifth. Far outside is cheering for Al. And Bry Pooter, the back of the pack. As they move now with a quarter of a mile left to go, and it's Tack Up just in front. Tack Up trying to hold off. Lost in the stairs on the outside. Lost in the stairs. Asked to kick on and does so and takes the lead as they turn in from Tack Up by three quarters of a length. Wedgwood Blue is moved into third. Still six to make up, but in the meantime, Lost on the stairs is getting away, and nobody's going to catch Lost on the stairs now. Lost on the stairs. Big favorite coming home. Lost on the stairs, and Wes Hamilton punching home a victory by six Six lengths of the finish from Wedgwood Blue or tack up, maybe tack up from Wedgwood Blue, then Dominic's Pride cheering for Al. And they're off. Southern March, Kuznetsov up to the early lead. Nightmare is speeding up on the outside. Then Bell and Tonic, and followed by Cut Time, Splendor Galli Belimey. Leading the way is Kuznetsov on the inside, pushed by Southern March to the outside. So Southern March and Kuznetsov hooking up head-to-head. -head. Nightmare right there, three wide, and joined four wide by Splendor Gal and five wide by I.B. Limey. Real scramble on for the lead, and Nightmare breaks away into the far turn run. Three A's to go, Nightmare, Splendor Gal, I.B. Limey, Southern March working a little harder in fourth because Nets up on the inside tried to stay from fifth. Then it's cut time in six and Bell and Tonic top of the stretch where Splendor Gal kicks on with a quarter of a mile to go. Splendor Gal opens up a length and a half. Splendor Gal from Nightmare a length and a half as they straighten in. I.B. Limey the far outside getting off the inside Kuznetsov who swerved off that rail and followed by Southern March who's weakened up in the last furlong. It's Splendor Gal and all Splendor Gal now and Sheldon Russell putting the finishing touches on a double. It's Splendor Gal going away. Splendor Gal with a seven length advantage. Splendor Gal to win from Kuznetsov and then Bell and Tonic maybe cut time and then Nightmare. Time a minute 5.028134 four to five Splendor Gal. First one Kuznetsov second.
away in the six and best kind of trouble with a sharp start and far from awesome tricky line on the outside in arrears is at the rail and a sky chaparral and cotejones in the back best kind of trouble up front a moderate clip Best kind of trouble, just cruising right along. Opens a length and a half on Far From Awesome second. In arrears, Cotajona's in between horses, tugging along. And Tricky Lion out there, four deep in the second flight. They're chasing the solo leader, best kind of trouble. In the meantime, Sky Chaparral, ridden along, has to pick it up from five and a half off the pace. Three furlongs left, and it's best kind of trouble on cruise control. Leading Far From Awesome second, Tricky Lion in third. In arrears is in fourth, and Cotajona is in fifth, and Sky Chaparral. Best kind of trouble's had an easy pace so far. Let's see what happens now at the quarter pole, top of the stretch, where Best Kind of Trouble tries to kick on. Best Kind of Trouble, far from awesome second. Tricky line in the middle of a track, and in arrears, fourth at the inside. In the last furlong, Best Kind of Trouble keeps on finding two-length lead from Tricky line in second. Sky Chaparral is coming home gamely on the far outside, but the slow pace of Best Kind of Trouble went all the way. Best Kind of Trouble, Best Kind of Trouble. Sky Chaparral quick enough for second and far from awesome, and Tricky line in arrears and Corijon. And they're off. Bit of a bobble there for Alberto Zalquinto at the start. Punch your brother directly to the front from Hale's statement. Now in between horses, Alberto Zalquinto has recovered, has moved up to the second spot. Old Dude is in fourth and Midnight Cry and Take Warning is last. Leading the way is Punch Your Brother, pushed along by a pretty good tailwind there. Leads a length and a half or two from Alberto Salquinto in second. Another three or four back in Midnight Cry, riding the rail in third. Hale's statement is in fourth and Old Dude is fifth, three deep turn and take warning last. Still Alberto Salquinto on chase of Punch Your Brother making inroads now. Alberto Salquinto on the outside. Punch Your Brother is pressured on the inside to stay on. Midnight Cry is closing in from third position and Old Dude is in fourth. Hail Statement is fifth and take warning. Top of the stretch now, Alberto Salquinto. Alberto Salquinto from Midnight Cry on the far outside. And now here on the outside is Midnight Cry. Midnight Cry, Alberto Salquinto. Midnight Cry is trying to sustain, can't quite. Down to the inside, Hail Statement, far outside. Old Dude is coming to Old Dude on the far outside. Alberto Salquinto and Hale Statement out of the inside. It's Old Dude. Old Dude and Hale Statement surging. Old Dude, Hale Statement. Old Dude, Hale Statement. Alberto Salquinto, Midnight Cry. Take warning. One eleven point five seven. the time.
lined up. And they're off. Cozy Cat with Stolen Love right out to the lead. His Stolen Love and Brother Chubb out one, two. Cozy Cat broke with it, but settles back third position. Prime Time Man and Grecian Prince side by side. They're four and a half or five off the lead. Late running Daily News and Perfect Cross in the back. Eight or nine lengths will cover that field heading into the far turn. Pace provided by Stolen Love, who's got it a half length in the favorite Brother Chubb and Cozy Cat to the outside. Grecian Prince tucked into the rail in fourth and Prime Time Man is cruising along in fifth position in between horses. Another two in Daily News. Now with five lengths to come with four furlongs left. And last is Perfect Cross. Into the far turn. Stolen Love still at leader from Brother Chubb, but just narrowly. Brother Chubb and Neck a half length off of Stolen Love. It tries to widen again. Stolen Love for Brother Chubb and Cozy Cat to the outside in third position. Grecian Prince remains at the rail. Prime Time Man is in fifth. And Daily News is sixth. Trying to come with a three wide bit at the quarter pole. Top of the stretch. And last is Perfect Cross. Turning for home. Stolen in love, Brother Chubb on the outside. Cozy Cat's running a big race. Primetime Man now diving one off the inside at the rail is Grecian Prince. A furlong left to go. Stolen Love is in for a fight. A real fight with Brother Chubb. Brother Chubb and Stolen Love. They're going at it head and head and nose and nose. What a race. Brother Chubb. Stolen Love down to the inside. Brother Chubb and Stolen Love. Brother Chubb from Stolen Love and a thriller. Primetime Man in Grecian Prince Daily News. Time a minute, 22.56, photo finish in the eighth. And they're off. The Real Pomeroy's package speeding out to the early advantage from adversary in second. Social media untethered to between horses. Here's Twisted Earl settling in in fifth position near the inside and Bo Ziggity deep out. They're followed by the Iron Bank who broke with him but drops to third last position. The great Ronaldo and Blame Me's in the back. Pomeroy's package providing the speed adversary to press. Pomeroy's package a neck from adversary to the outside. Three lengths back. Social media third. Bo Ziggity is in fourth. Untethered is in fifth and Twisted Earl is in six now, seven or eight to make up and ridden along is that favorite Twisted Earl now passed by the Iron Bank who's trying to get underway in between horses. So the Iron Bank and Twisted Earl has to rally. Now they have to rally some seven lengths from the front runners. Top of the stretch, adversary turns for home from social media to the outside. Pomeroy's package, untethered rides the inside. Twisted Earl of the Iron Bank, they're into the stretch with a furlong left to go. The outside social media driven hard. Social media at adversary for the final furlong. Social media adversary. Social media gets the head in front from adversary is giving it a good battle down to the line but it's social media and Kevin Gomez social media 4-1. to one. Adversary was second the Iron Bank third Pomeroy's package untethered. Time at minute 10.25. Eight seven three one.
Saturday post time 110, Sunday post time at 110. Join us this Sunday at Laurel Park for ever popular Sunday brunch, just $22 per person. The chef's planning the menu right now. First floor of the Garden Terrace, $22 per person for our Sunday brunch. Join us Saturday, April 21st for our Spring Steaks Spectacular here at Laurel Park and Racing 101 Day at the Races on Saturday, April 28th. If you'd like more information about all the upcoming events and promotions and racing news, go to laurelpark.com forward slash email. You'll get your weekly newsletter in your inbox. Just give us your email, laurelpark.com forward slash email for our Maryland Jockey Club newsletter. That's it for the Friday program. We'll see you Saturday and Sunday with a 110 post.